Well, yeah. how often do you get a chance to, to transform a museum? doesn't happen very often, so that was a very tempting offer to come here and, and, and work with what is here and make it into something even better. I'm an art historian and I did my uh, undergraduate studies here at Lund University and then in 98 I uh, went to New York to study art history at the Institute of Fine Arts at New York University. I did an MA and then a PhD and I worked as a curator of photography at the Brooklyn Museum for five years. And then I came back to Lund. This is a museum with a collection of, of, of uh, art by many of the great modernist artists, especially French artists, Matisse, Sonia Delaunay, Leger, Dubuffet. We don't need to invent the content because the content is already here, and I knew that. So that's part of the attraction, that you get to work with a place that, that has a good collection and that has a unique focus. If you work in a big institution, of course you learn a lot. It's a, it's a huge experience to work in an institution like the Brooklyn Museum with 300 people. But it's also quite limiting. It's a completely different matter altogether to work in a small place. It's much tougher in many ways, but also you can get things done. If you think about creativity and the interest in creativity and creative processes today, it's something that is uh, spoken of in a very different way today than only about 10 years ago. So to be in a museum at an all comprehensive university, a very good university like Lund University, and to be a museum with a focus on creativity it opens up for all kinds of possibilities to discuss uh, formation of ideas, creative processes on a, on a much more general level and we can talk about innovation and all these things that people are interested in today. So this museum can take a very different role today than it could when it was founded many, many decades ago or even just 10 or 15 years ago. I'm Patrick Amselem, I'm the director of Skissenas Museum at Lund University.